Reverend Dr. Glenn Missick, and uh, we're here with Mr. Emmanuel Missick and his lovely wife, Mrs. Ella Fulford Missick. And uh, your daughter is Ruth. And it's good. Uh, Turks and Caicos Islands uh, preserving our heritage and history because I believe that we need to preserve our history. We need to preserve our heritage. It's been a long time and our islands are growing so fast and we end up losing that heritage for our young people. So this is dedicated to all our young people that are coming up. And so I want you to just today to just tell your story of what it was like growing up in the Turks and Caicos Islands. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I know you, you spent some time in the Bahamas as I did in Jamaica and in, I live in New York now. But this is still our home, our island home. So introduce, I, we, we, again, welcome you, uh, those of you who are watching. This is Ms. Uh, Elder uh, Emmanuel Missick. And you got it. Just tell us who you are. I am Richard Emmanuel Mizek, the fourth child and fourth son of Renskut and Nancy Jones Mizek. My grandfather was James T. Mizek. So and many my James Mizeks. <laughs> Keep going. My grandfather was James T. Mizek. He was married to Diana Gardner. Her father was Nathaniel Gardner that was responsible for the Baptist churches in the Turks and Caicos Islands during his time. He most likely has helped to establish the Baptist churches throughout the Turks and Caicos Island and the Southern Bahamas Islands. Wow. He was, you, was the only one living in North Caicos was able to go from Grand Turk, Salt Key, South Caicos, North Caicos, Middle Caicos, and Anagua, Magona, and as far as Crooked Island and the Ackland Island in the Bahamas. I got that part of my history from Theo Farquharson at Anagua when I lived at Anagua in 19, from 1947 to 1967. My grandfather, James T. Mizek, was the son of his father, James T. Mizek, and his great-grandfather, James T. Mizek, of Bermuda. A history yes. of growing up in Bottle Creek, North Caicos. I was born in 1933 on the 14th day of August. I'm now 90 plus years of age. My gang is Richard Emmanuel Mizzick, okay. the fourth son of Renskut and Nancy Mizzick. They That marriage produced nine children, okay. James T. Mizzick, Enos Mizzick, Reuben Mizzick, and I, Richard Emmanuel Mizzick. The first daughter was Elma Mizzick. The fifth son was Howard Mizzick and the sixth son was Dewey Mizzick. Dewey, is Dewey that a Mizzick. nickname or is that a? That is a real that's name. A real he name. was named after his uncle, Dewey Mizzick, okay. my, my uncle. Okay. Dewey Mizzick was his grand uncle. And after Dewey was Diana Mizzick, named <laughs> after my grandmother, Diana, and my sister, the last of nine children, named Maxine Mizzick. <laughs> Growing up in Bottle Creek, North Caicos, at the time from 1933, when the entire world was just coming out of the Great Depression and preparation was being made in Europe 
for the Second World War, which started at 1939. That's right. I was six years of age in 1939 when Hitler started the war in Germany, in uh -huh. Europe. It turned out to be a world war, which meant Turks and Caicos Islands, which I considered to be the end of the world. <laughs> the one we are so end, yeah. far away from all that happens in this world that I call North Caicos, Turks and Caicos Islands, the end of the world. Mm -hmm. Growing up in North Caicos, my grandfather, James T. Mizek, and his son, my father, Renskut Alexander Mizek, was fisherman. <laughs> they were in the sponge time when sponge was king in the Turks and Caicos Islands and the Hawksbill turtle <laughs> shell was gold in the world. <laughs> the Jones came, my mother was named Nancy Jones, her father came from Ackland Island in the Bahamas when the Bahamas was under, when Turks and Caicos Islands was under the Bahamas. In the 1800s. In the 1800s. Right. They came from the Bahamas, the southern Bahamas, uh, when turtle, turtling was uh, king in, and Hawksbill turtle shell mm -hmm. was very valuable in those days. They came from Ackland Island to fish turtle and sponge mm -hmm. in the Caicos Bank. The Caicos Banks is a bank 70 miles long. Runs from where to where? Runs from West Caicos to South Caicos. Okay. And, and to uh, Amagris Key, which is nearer to Haiti. Okay. After Amagris Key to the south, is the, the peninsula of Haiti and Santo Domingo. Mm -hmm. I came up during the war time, which was very tough. Mm -hmm. I forgot the number of the sails that was put, the marking of sails, because many ships got torpedoed in these waters between the Bahamas and Bermuda and the Turks and Caicos Islands during the war time. Mm -hmm. And because Turks and Caicos Island depended on trade from Haiti and the Bahamas, mm -hmm. they were the nearest country to Turks and Caicos Islands to trade for. Mm -hmm. Only fish and conch, sponge and turtle shell and during the war time, lots of sisal, which we call growing vanilla. What did that look like? I always vanilla heard Vanilla is a plant that grows, it's a cactus plant. Okay. And from the leaves, you you cut eat? the leaves mm. and strip the mm. leaves in three mm. and put it in the crawl in the sea. They build a rock crawl, mm -hmm. which is a pen in the sea and put the sponge and the vanilla. The, the vanilla came just after the sponge trading died out, which was uh, from Turks and Caicos to Nassau. Mm -hmm. The only sponge press that I am aware of was in this same property built by my father, which was born deaf and dumb. Wow. And he was trained to be a carpenter mm -hmm. by the Basdens, which owned about a thousand acres of land, which is called Bellevue mm -hmm. or Belvedere. My father was trained by the Basdens as a boy to be a carpenter. Now, are they related to the Basins in South Caicos? The Basins, uh, I don't think so. Okay. They were a white okay. 
family, mm -hmm. just as the Mizics in the Turks and Caicos Islands started out mm -hmm. in Grand Turk okay. to be a white family. All right. My great grandfather mm -hmm. came to Grand Turk from Bermuda, okay. where he lived with his father, which, whose name was James T. Mizzick. Okay. And his, he came, my great-grandfather came to these islands in Grand Turk to work for Gellman mm -hmm. in Grand Turk. Mm -hmm. And when he finished his contract working for government in Grand Turk, he came to North Cavus. Now, was he a slave owner? Not a slave owner, here but in, most likely yeah. he came during the slave trade. Okay. The slave trade then in these islands and Bermuda and Haiti and the Bahamas and Bermuda and all over the Caribbean. Yeah. These islands in the Caribbean uh, came into history in the trade in the slave trade from the European and American slave trades mm -hmm. these islands came to be. Mm -hmm. uh, so back back to the Mystics in Grand Turk. Um, they when I was growing up my family were the only mystics that I knew of in Grand Turk. You know, my great grandfather was Nathaniel Bertram Missick, and my grandfather was Nathaniel Bertram Missick Jr., also known as Ponet. Um, so, um, my history of my Missick family mm -hmm. came from Grand Turk. Okay. The first was named James Missick. Right. That's how my great grandfather, James T. Mizzick, mm -hmm. came from, from Bermuda mm -hmm. to his family in Grand Turk, which yeah. was a white Mizzick family. My yeah. grandfather, also James T. Mizzick III, mm -hmm. was a white man living in Bottle Creek, North Case. Yeah. I knew you... him quite well. Which one? Oh, you knew him. Okay. I knew my grandfather. Wow. I Wh didn't know my grand. My great grandfather died just before I came around. Which one was uh, is buried over there in St. Thomas Churchyard? There's a James Missick buried there. Most likely is related to yeah. my family. Okay. James T. Missick, which is a white man yeah. from Bermuda. Now. To the Mizzix at that time controlled Grand Turk and the Turks and Cays Island. The, My, the history I have of the Mizzix, uh -huh. there was a James Mizzix who was the first president right. of the Turks and Caicos Islands, uh -huh. buried in Grand Turk. Okay. James, I don't know. So he's the one name. that's probably at uh, in St. Thomas Yard over there. Yeah. Yeah. That so it was a white Mizzic family. Yeah. So I, I know that the Turks Islanders came from Bermuda and the people in the Caicos Islanders came from South Carolina for the most part. But there is this controversy about, as you know, the two S's and the one S. You want to clear this up first? Because I am tired I, of trying to explain to people. I was born. <laughs> I was born with one S. Okay. With one S. You were born with I one I was born with one ass. <laughs> the Mizics got two asses in their name by traveling mm -hmm. from North Cagus to Anagua, okay. working for the Erickson Company, which owned uh, the Salt Company, which ended up to be Morton Salt Company. Yes. All over the even, world. Even to this day, there in Anagua. Even to this day. I was the first Turks Islander of, at that time, I was known probably as a Bahamian, but mm -hmm. I was born right here in North Cagus right. and left these islands 1947. Mm -hmm. Worked for the Erickson Company for 10 years. Yeah. And in 1952, they, the Ericsson sold out 
the salt company, which was named West Indian Chemical Company. I became the first supervisor of Martin Salt Company at Inagua. I worked as supervisor, which they call Brian Control. Brian is, is liquid salt. When all the fresh water is dried out by sun and wind, that makes the brine. And when the brine began, began to crystallize, we moved that from reservoirs into crystallizers. Mm -hmm. The smallest crystallizer at my time mm -hmm. as Brian Control or Supervisor of Production for Modern Soil Company. The first, the smallest crystallizer was 12 acres. The largest at that time was 40 acres. Okay. And I was prime control manager, which is today supervisor of production. The man I trained from Ackland Island by the name of Tio Major, mm -hmm. which I trained as Brian Control, when Penland took over the Bahamas, they made him, the Martin Saul Company, gave him the name of supervisor of production. But I was the first local Turks Islander. The Erickson began to establish themselves at Inago. And in the Bahamas, there was only Anagua and the Turks and Caicos Islands producing salt at that time. So the Ericsons had to turn to Turks and Caicos Islanders mm -hmm. to get workers for the salt company at Anagua. Mm -hmm. And that is how the salt company in Salt Key, Salt Caicos, and Grand Turk closed down because at Inago, they began to produce so much salt and their workers from Turks and Caicos Island and mainly Salt Key, Salt Caicos and Grand Turk at Inago. When I was growing up, there were salt ships lined up across Grand Turk. And um, of course, my father, who was also James Missick, <laughs> James Dennis Missick, yeah. uh, he was one of the pilots, uh, along with his two brothers, uh, Stanley and Uncle Donald. And I, so I got to go out to see some of those ships. Um, the Let's go back a little bit to um, the first, please introduce your lovely wife again. My wife is Ella Fulbert Missick from South Caicos. She okay. is now the oldest Fulford in the Turks and Caicos Islands. Her father was named Stanley Fulford. Her grandmother was named Ella Fulford. That's how she got I the knew, name. I knew Ella, Ella. Fulford. Yeah. That's her grandmother. Did, 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 three yeah. Ella Fulfords in the family. What is Hubie Fulford to you? Hubie Fulford is her uncle. Uncle. Okay. It was Bobby. Bobby is Bobby first is cousin. a first cousin. First cousin. Okay. He, Bobby, just, he died just Helen, a couple of years ago. Yeah. And uh, Bobby, Helen, and uh, the one that was married to. Oh, Violet. Violet. Violet Iris. Violet uh, and John. Violet, John yeah. Robinson's wife, Leela. Yeah. Leela. Yeah. Iris, Violet, and Leela. They were beautiful. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. those little <laughs> South Caicos girls. <laughs> so was my wife. <laughs> so was your wife, right? <laughs> I, I, I love South Caicos. I used to go there a lot. Back yeah. to the salt industry. Um, did you know a Leon Cadet? I knew Leon Cadet <laughs> personally. I yeah. knew Leon Cadet. I knew. Uh, he Did he own salt ponds or he just worked? for the people who own the salt pond. I think he worked and probably owned. I don't know yeah. much about his young history mm -hmm. because I met him when I came from Managua yeah. to to uh, Dark Oswald. Right. 
for right. fixing them up. Uh, uh, okay, uh, yeah. Um, That's when I, he knew Doc Osford and met with Doc Osford and his son, uh, his uh, fellow alive. Leopold. Leopold. Yeah, Leopold. Yeah. And, uh, oh, dentist, yeah. and uh, that's where I met Leon Cadet also right. at that time. That was in 19. Probably. 1950. I, I, 50. I, 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 I was born in 1950, so I knew him. I never yeah. met Did you know that Leon Cadet's mother was from Lawrence? Leon Cadet's yeah. mother and and Ma Williams, and so Margaret was Ma Williams. Williams. Margaret, they were sisters. I think it was sisters. Yeah, yeah. they were. They, yeah. they were. Marmos at that time had, to my experience, the most beautiful women in the Caicos Islands. Wow. I knew some of them wow. when I was a boy. Well, my great grandmother out. was from Larimer's, Martha Williams, Miss. Yes. <laughs> Among the beautiful people. Yeah. My grandmother was from Larimer's as well. Your grandmother was from Larimer's too. Okay. So let's, let's go back to this again, because I am tired of people asking me about this one ass and this two ass missing stuff. And I say to them, all I do is I just take out my driver's license or my They're passport and I show it to them. They're all one family. Yeah, and I say to them, I say, listen, they don't, we, when we were growing up, my brothers and my, my brothers and my sisters and all that would move to the Bahamas. My older sister, Iris, Perry, mm -hmm. Franklin Perry's uh, mm -hmm. sister by my father's first wife. When she moved there, uh, my brother Richard, Missick, we call him Piggy, yeah. he moved there. They changed the two S's. We never made a big deal about it. We mm -hmm. we kept the one S. Because you know, we are one Missick family. family. Yeah. I think it happened through mistake. Not, not that. No. Not happened through mistake. Oh. There, there are some that, rumors about it. But that happened not. by Missick's using two S's. I left this island, North Caicos, in 1947, out of the highest class in school, grade six. Mm -hmm. And in four days, I went from these islands, North Caicos, to Anagua, mm -hmm. and where my father worked from 1940 or 41 during the war time anyhow. Mm -hmm. And he moved his family from Bottle Creek to Anagua mm -hmm. with the Erickson working for the Erickson Company, which was a people from, I think, Chicago. Okay. And they had a book which was written by a music syndicate, syndicates abroad. Mm -hmm. That music was spelled M I S M E M E S S I S I C K. And immediately when we went to Anagua, spelling our name with one S M I S I C K, because the Erickson Company at Anagua had knowledge of a music that wrote the book Syndicate Abroad, mm -hmm. they begin to spell our names M-I-S-S-I-C-K. -S -S wow, that is the best explanation I've heard. I and you and they are vowels. Yeah. And you can pronounce them yeah. the same way. That's how the musics, yeah. I, yeah. born in Bottle Creek using one S, and in four or five days from Bottle Creek to Anagua, mm -hmm. I was using two S. Two S. Yeah. Two same here, same here. It, it, it's, uh, I did some research on it years ago when I first moved to New York. They're Slavic people, the mystics. It's a yeah. Slavic name, you know, Poland, uh, Czechoslovakia around there. Right there. So you got, I, you got to have you show it, you have to go over this in a second. So, man, you got a, you've had an exciting life. You've had an exciting life. Now, I was just I just came from this big wedding in Miami, and some your grandson was there too. I forget his My name. Son. Yeah, your son. Okay, and um, some others say that. Uh, oh, that's him. Okay. His son. All right. Oh, okay. We will get a picture of that. Mm -hmm. um, and they were they were telling me say if anybody knows as many. <laughs> mm -hmm. Now I think I met you. I didn't know you growing up. 
because, because you were living because in the Because I was living in the bomb. In the bomb. Yeah. But I, I met you many years ago, and you and I became really good friends. And I remember you always wanting to sit down and talk about it. And I remember when you told me, you said, I know the history of the missing family, you know? And um, instead of all these other guys coming around and just making up stories, you know how people are. I have the <laughs> true knowledge of how the mystics began yeah. to yeah. use two S's. Yeah. I have it in, in print. That print yeah. I have, yeah. I pick it up in Miami at a, uh, what you call it? Convention? Well, let, let me let me ask you this though, because there are some mystics from uh, Whitby. Same mystics. Same mystics. The, the, mystic, we, we the mystics to, from Whitby. We used to call them the red mystics. So yeah, mystics. they were yeah. the mystics of the white family. Cold, yeah, uh, we call I know we call them Cole Rice for lack of a yeah. grandma's name, but and, Cole uh, Rice's father was named Jacob Mystic. My uncle, my my grand uncle, mm -hmm. my father uncle. He was my grandfather's last son. My great-grandfather, James T. Mizzet, was married three times right here in North Cape. His first wife was, I don't, know what, I don't know whether that was her first or last name, mm -hmm. but the name was Frederica. Okay. She was a black woman, okay. and he was a white man. Okay. I knew his children, two of his children, three of his children. Mary, which we call Mary Frederica because her mother was named Frederica. Mm -hmm. Frederica was the first wife of my great grandfather. Mm -hmm. When Frederica died, my great grandfather, James T. Mizzick, got married to a, a latter woman from the walk-in side of the family. Oh, okay. So Miss Clementine comes in. Yes, that's yep. the same family. Yep. And uh, Clementine walked, Clementina walked in. Her mother was a mystic, she told me. Yeah. And she told me that she was a, she was Mr. Phillips, first cousin. Yeah. Uh, second cousin, I'm sorry. Second cousin. <laughs> Anyhow, his second wife died, leaving my grandfather and his brother, William Mystic and a sister by the name of Eleanor Mizzic mm -hmm. and another sister by the name of Helen Mizzic. Okay. I think there was another... I had an aunt named oh, Helen, Helen Mizzic. The same uh, name yeah, runs same throughout name. the family. Do you know Lovely Mizzic? She she is from that uh, that missing. Her father James missing died about five ten years ago. Yes, lady, that's Barbara. Yeah. I, I know, yeah. I know. Yeah. That James yeah. missing and yeah. I are one family. Yeah, because lovely. I yeah. had to call James and, and, and Philip. I had to yeah. call James Miller's father, mm -hmm. which whose name was Jacob Missick. I had yeah. to call him. He was my grand uncle. Now, Jacob Missick, what about the Missicks in, in Cuba? Jacob Missick, you know, my father, third wife, was, I knew her well, mm -hmm. was named Jane Swan. And when Jane Swan, whose name, her husband was named Domingo Swan, and uh, George Swan, when their father died, my great grandfather James Mizzick got married the third time to Jane Swan. Is that, that, is that from his Blue Hills third or wife? Or, or no, the Swans right here from right Bob Creek. I, I oh, own okay. a room from here in Bob Creek. Wow. The Swans in Provo came from uh, from Bottle Creek. Creek. Water, from oh, Bottle Creek. Okay. So Livingston Swan. Lewington Swan, same family. Yeah, okay. Lewington Swan grandmother was my step great grandmother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I call that step, but she was my great grandmother by my great grandfather, James Mizzick. That produced uh, Jacob Mizzick, Pauline Mizzick, and Franz Mizzick. They were Two of them were twins. Franz died early, but Pauline 
which is Gilmo Williams' grandmother, okay. married to Thaddeus Williams, which na nickname was Bob Williams. They produced Gladstone, uh, Roy, and Owington, three sons, and Pauline live right here in Gilly's mother, live right here in Bottle Creek. Creek. Yeah. We are the nearest to the Mizzic family living in Bottle Creek not right now, and we are one age. I tried I, to tell Gilly that we're family, and he looked at me yeah, like this. Yeah. <laughs> he is either on the Missing or the Williams side. Yeah, family. <laughs> but, so so we, we haven't touched on it yet, I mean, where the controversy came, I think was around the early 90s, where the young people got a little confused. Yeah. Um, when, of course, you know, Mike and, uh, well, actually Washington first, Missick came into power, and then Mike, more than anything else, became world-renowned world for American Mike, movie star. Mike's yeah. grandfather was my uncle. Okay. My grandfather and my father or brothers. Okay. What was my his name? My grandfather, his name was Charles Mizzick. Charles Mizzick, okay. We used to call him Uncle Charlie. So his father was Charles Mizzick and his grandfather was Charles Mizzick? Yes. Okay. So, like my, so like my grandfather, my great-grandfather, they, they had the same name. The yeah. same yeah. name runs throughout yeah. the Mizzick family in the Bahamas yeah. and in the Turks and Caicos Islands and wherever they spread abroad yeah. in the world. Now quickly, there, there, there's a Jake Missick, who I knew was my grandfather's brother. He moved to Magona. Okay, so I, I figured Jake is Jacob. Jake Missick had a son named James Missick. Jake Missick had a son named John Missick. John Missick. Which also traveled from these islands to Magona. Magona. Which is make now Magon is like what twenty miles from away from here? Yeah, twenty miles, 20 miles from yeah from power. But let me tell you what I my understanding from that Jake Missick. I mean, he, he, was, a, he was a character. But uh, <laughs> your grand, your, what the Pan name? Pan Ned, Ned Missick. Ned, the no, Missick. the one that was at Magon. Oh, Jake, Jacob, Jacob Missick. I met one of his grandsons mm -hmm. in the island of Anagua. Yeah. And Grand Bahama, also, I met Mizzix, which was related to me yeah. from Magona mm -hmm. in the Bahamas. Yeah. And listen, the, the thing about Jake Mizzix, which I'm told by one of my cousins, Uncle Stanley's son, Terrence, told me this, that, you know, there's a movie star out there, okay, whose name is Dorian Mizzix. And he, he was married to, I forget his wife's name, she was on All Rise and on CBS. But Doran has been in a lot of movies, and I, he and I, we, we, we communicate. Doran he, lives, is he lives in Hollywood. But I'm told that he descended from, his, his, his father's name was Crofton Missing. In fact, he took on Crofton also. Um, that they are of Jake's, they are Jake's descendants. I met some of them when my brother Richard uh, Missing died in Nassau. Oh, back in the 90s, and they came great, over for the funeral. Which migrated to the United States yeah. from the Bahamas. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, anyway, as we wrap this up, um, what would you like your appetite, what, 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 what would you like people to say about you after you've gone to be with the Lord? And you as a Christian, and I as a Christian minister, I'm not afraid. I told my congregation the other day, I'm not afraid to talk about death. So, a lot of people will pick up on these, and they... They post them on Facebook, they use them just to hear the history, particularly the young people. The young people are excited about, you know, what I'm doing, and uh, I appreciate that. But uh, we're leaving a legacy behind. What, what do you want your legacy to say? <laughs> that I lived. You lived. Hey, that's a good one. That's a good one. I just lived. I have it written somewhere. All right. I thought I was in this That's all right. You, and you, Richard you got Emmanuel yeah. Mizek born in the island of North Caicos Bottle Creek, lived, and I was just like other men. Yeah. But I picked this on up the book. when I was 15 and a half years of age. Mm -hmm. I had this Bible sent out to the binders mm -hmm. 
Christ already. This is a very old Bible. Mm -hmm. I have this all marked mm -hmm. in the last war. Repeat that. It was tough. Yeah. We had to read in North Kings. North Kings is farmland. This is, this, you're talking about growing up during the Second the War? Time. Second yeah, war. The Second War. Okay, tell us a little bit about that briefly. Growing up in the Second War, World War, North Caucasus and Middle Caucasus are the bread and basket of the Turks and Caucasus Islands. Peas, corn, potato, cassava, cane, banana, plantain, all of these things. To this day, I have been a farmer for the past 20 years right here in North Caucasus. My daughter, farming is a big challenge Mm -hmm. And my daughter is willing to take on the farming in North Caucasus wow. from me. I wow. wish she had enough or you had enough time for you to get pictures of a yard. I will. Which has breadfruit, yeah. plantain, banana, everything. Everything in this yard wow. and, and is on the farm. That's I've what been harvesting sometimes 700 pounds of banana wow. to take to IGA stores a week. Mm -hmm. And she is still doing the same thing. That's one of the things we did not have in Grand Turk, you know, be, because of but the salt. Grand Turk had the salt. Yeah, you had the salt. Yeah. So you got to be blessed by something. Yeah. So we had to import it from here or from Haiti and the Dominican yeah. Republic. But they, I heard they cut down all the trees so that the salt, salt can, you know, yeah. grow, yeah. Let's see if I can put all of them together and just do a documentary. Turks and Caicos Islands, preserving our heritage and history. God bless you. And may the Lord Thank you make his face shine upon you, be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up the light of his countenance upon you and give you his peace. Amen.